Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong out here in the morning, and we're going to fish the skinny lipper. This is a new plug. It's basically between a topwater lure and a jerk shad. We call it a top diver, where it floats, and then when you twitch it, it'll dive down about three to four inches, float back up, and you can do that as a topwater, as like a slow moving topwater, or you can go faster and jerk it like a jerk, like a jerk bait under the water. It really darts like a soft plastic jerk bait, but if puppers are around, and you need a jerk bait, so this is a, this is a good option. Also, it just does a nice little a nice little swim. So we're going to try all three retrieves. We have a nice grass flat out here, um, and we're going to go from from water right now is about three feet of water, and as we get closer to that bar to, to that island, it's going to get to about one and a half, and so you'll be able to see how this plug still works in that super shallow water. So we're going to get out, um, see if we can get some action out here in the deeper stuff. I'm having a rod tip down and doing just a, a nice jerking motion, trying to get some of these trout to, uh, to come off the bottom. We have a, a slow tide, we're in between the moons, and this is a, just a slow incoming tide. So these fish, they're not gonna be super active, but if we can have this, this plug, um, it has some good rattles in there and just have a nice erratic motion, we can get these fish at least angry, fired up, see uh, injured, injured prey up above them, and they come up and eat it. So we're gonna, See if we can get a trout off the board real quick, and then as we get closer to the island, that'll be redfish and snook territory. So ideally, if we can get a little bit of everything. On, oh, there's a trout right now going after it. Oh, nice trout too. Let's see if we can get him to, to so now that he's following it, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit, give him a little bit more time. And then if he doesn't hit it, oh yeah, a lot of times they'll follow it, so he's still on it. Sometimes I'll follow it for a long distance. Oh, there we are, got him. There we are, nice trout. <laughs> so that's the cool thing about this plug where I went from, I went from a jerk bait type thing. I got it, got its interest, saw that he was there. Now I slow it down and uh, essentially got a topwater strike on, a, on what typically would be a not so good morning. That's a solid trout too. Not a giant, but, but, uh, but a keeper for those who like trout. I think it just got me wet. But yeah, here it is. So solid fish off the board. First five minutes of fishing. Skinny lipper got it done. Really cool lure. Again, just so versatile. And it's obviously called the skinny lipper, it has that skinny lip right there on the on the nose. So it's like a again, like a crankbait, but it just barely goes under the surface. And it's the only hard plug that I found, like only diver diving plug like this that i've found that can actually be fished up on the flats so really really cool i'm getting the fact that they're not super active they probably won't hit the straight retrieve quite as aggressively but it's worth a shot we've already got trout on the board so now we're just gonna go the troll motor a little bit faster speed i want to get right to that point of that island all right so inching up to this island and so now we're in snook and redfish territory so i'm going to get one up there by that point and this is where I can take it again, just nice and slow. And there's probably some fish in that area. Oh, one's, one's on it. Probably some fish up there, but they're not gonna be super aggressive. So now I'm, I'm basically, oh, oh, I'll just hit it again. So now I'm working it as a, uh, just as a topwater, a nice slow moving topwater. Oh, there we are, got him. Nice fish there. Ooh, it feels heavy, but I, it's not going against me. Let's see how big it is. I might just have something foul hooked. What the heck is this thing? Ooh, it's a solid redfish. Nice, all right, we got number two fish. Let me get the power pole down as well. Get back up there, Joel. <laughs> oh, there's the power pole down. Yeah, so just to protect your rod, we've done some tips on, on just not, you know, not letting your rod get past the 90 degree point. This fish is running under the boat, but as long as we put that rod tip down, we're cool. Yeah, it's not as big as red as I thought, but uh, solid fish. Oh, come on. Doing the old under the boat fight. All right. Pretty cool, we're on our way to a quick slam here. All right. Solid red skinny lipper right there in his mouth. Came up and smacked it. Beautiful fish. Just love these inline hooks. There we are. Lures out. Let that guy go. All right. And again, cool thing about these hard plugs. I used to always, I obviously still use a lot of soft plastics, but I'm enjoying this 
as soon as you let the fish go, the lure's still good. You don't have to re-rig. You don't have to check for tears in plastic. So uh, again, for that reason, I'm just really liking um, these, these hard plugs. And this one in particular, again, the only one that I found where I can get up here super shallow and, uh, and get these red snook and trout to, uh, to smack. Let's see if we can finish off with the snook. All right, we'll try another right on that point there, see if we can get that snook out. Got faith that there's some under those trees. So what I'm doing is I just have rod tip down, just doing a little twitch, and I'm just trying to get it, get some, some action and some noise without moving it too far, and just call those fish out. I'm almost to that point right now. This is a lot of movement and just like a lot of noise and I've only covered maybe five feet or so far. If there's a snook around that point, it should come out and smack it. So now we'll try this bank here next, see if there's anything. Oh, there's my snook. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, he's flashed on it again. Eat it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh man, I had him. <laughs> I had the snook. It'll be a slam in 15, 20 minutes, still on this little island. Let's see if we can get him to hit it again. I had a hook in him, so he might not be willing to play. Oh, now I got a little bit too excited. Another benefit of the inline hooks versus trebles is I kicked it out of those mangroves just like a soft plastic. No, it wouldn't come again. We'll go over a little bit to the right. Let's see if we can find another snook along that shoreline. So nice to see life out here. Oh, oh, Osprey just tried to get it. Oh my gosh. Osprey, uh, so, so lifelike. The Osprey tries to grab it. Anytime you see a bird come down right before it gets there, just give it a nice tug and, and they, uh, they'll miss it. That was a close call. I've actually, I don't think I've ever had an Osprey go down after a lure like that before. All right, so we just shifted over to the wind protected side of the uh, of this island. Normally this is where like a traditional topwater lure is just too loud. But again, the fact that this just isn't nearly as loud as a full on topwater, we still have a chance of getting some topwater action, just doing this nice, slow, nice, slow retrieve. Again, enough to at least get some uh, so a little bit of noise out there and attract some fish, but not just overpowering. Let's see if we can get a snook out. There should be some around these, around these mangroves. Let's see if we can get a shot up there close to the trees. Another good thing about this lure is it casts an absolute mile. I just launched it up there close to those mangroves. Oh, that, uh, oh, that crane's looking at it. Some, oh, there, there we are. Oh, oh my gosh. That was a good sized snook too. Oh, up there in super shallow water. That was like the perfect situation where we got up there, long ways away from the boat. Fish had no idea we were there. Ah, oh, fumbled on another snook. Let's see if there's any more along that shoreline. Look at that, look at that crane coming up and... <laughs> he wants a piece of that skinny liver. This will be the second bird we've uh, been fooling today. Oh man, that was a nice fish too. This crane is not gonna help us out. I'm gonna have to go over to the right to scare that, to get that bird to get further over. Ooh man, my line just spooked up something. Come on, some fish hit it before the bird gets there. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on, crane. <laughs> oh man, these birds are a nuisance. All right, well, we now have the sun up. It's probably about 10.30 or so. Get a little bit late in the day for top water, but again, the fact that we were actually getting some, some top water bites uh, recently with some legit fish, pretty cool. And, and uh, yeah, this lure, this is brand new, just came out. We just finally got it in stock called the Skinny Lipper. Definitely is one, just if you like fishing shallow water and you're looking for a plug to shallow water fish, it comes with these single inline hooks. The benefit of the inline hooks, uh, number one, is, is when you do get a little bit aggressive in casting the trees, like I did several times, it popped out, right? It's just, it's just obviously much less risk of snagging on the trees, snagging ourselves, snagging our dogs. If uh, you take your dog out fishing, 
as far as the hookup ratio, once you do get hooked up, it actually holds better. So uh, yes, you will miss some smaller fish, but if it's a bigger fish and it has it in its mouth, it's gonna get hooked. So uh, again, I missed those snook today. They just really weren't sucking it down. They were just going up there and popping it. But uh, yeah, really fun lure to use. Uh, if you do get it, we'll send you a mini course on how to rig it, how to retrieve, and, and just how to just make sure you maximize your success. But, uh, but yeah, if you're fishing shallow water and, uh, and you wanna go after some, uh, some fish with a plug, definitely give this lure a try. As for the equipment I'm using, in case you're curious, I'm using the TFO Pro. This is a 7.6 medium power rod, and I have a Daiwa Legalis, a 2,500 size reel with 10 pound braid. It's just a good combo. It absolutely launches this lure. And then for leader, I'm just using 20 pound mono. Uh, again, mono is great. I prefer mono over fluoro. And, uh, and just this simple setup can just catch a wide variety of fish. Uh, again, a lot of fun, a lot of fun to get out there and, and get some topwater action, even on, on kind of weak current, uh, current mornings. And in case you're new to Salt Strong, it's, it's an online fishing club and we guarantee two things. Number one is you'll just catch more fish than ever before. We have, we have some software that'll make sure to put you at the right spot at the right time. And then number two, we have mastery courses to make sure once you get to those spots, you do the proper things with the proper rigging, proper lure selection, proper equipment, just to make sure that, again, that you maximize your valuable time on the water. And the added bonus is equipment. We get 20% off or more off of all equipment except for reels, for which we give free line, free spooling, and free shipping. So if you wanna learn more about that, go to saltstrong.com. And as far as the equipment, it's all at fishstrong.com. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you again soon.